so please give an incredible welcome to the incredibly glamorous, beautiful, talented, and lovely Batyapa. Thank you, David. Good evening and welcome, everyone. Wow, what can I say as I stand here, this amazing setting on what has already been an incredible evening? It is hard to imagine that this very venue lay silent and still for many months. Darkness and sadness, where there is now so much light enjoy. Before I dive into the essence of my speech, there are a few thank yous to make. To the artists, galleries, Sotheby's, Ganda and White, Stone Age Fleming, who have all been instrumental in bringing this art auction to life. To Jason Sackley, CEO Make-A-Wish UK, who from the very beginning fully trusted my vision for the Art of Wishes and the hardworking, dedicated Make-A-Wish team, especially Becky Howie. <laughs> to my wonderful committee, the Art of Wishes would not exist without your hard work, support and commitment. To our generous sponsors, Matches Fashion, Champagne Armand de Brignac, whose champagne we are drinking tonight. Mary McCartney, who has so kindly taken portraits this evening. And Mimi Luzon, who treated some of our most loyal supporters for a special treatment this weekend. And to you all, thank you for being here. I am truly grateful. While it may seem distant now, let's take a moment to reflect back to earlier this year when we were confined to our homes, hoping, wishing that we could come together with friends and family again. The sense of isolation the fear of the future and the fear how it might impact our loved ones. And now, let's remember why we are here tonight. We are here to raise money to create life-changing wishes for children living with a critical illness. Children who prior to the pandemic already faced a childhood most of us could not imagine. Children who experience some of the same emotions we have experienced over the last 18 months and so much more. The incredible art you see displayed around this room gives every one of us the opportunity to make life-changing wishes come true tonight. To revive a childhood stolen by critical illness and bring light and joy to children when they need it most. Look at this painting. What do you see when you look at the girl, when you look into her eyes? What is her expression saying to you? I see a strong and beautiful girl. I see a reflection of the world we live in. And I see her forcing us to ask questions about that world. That is what art at its very best, can and should do. It is thought-provoking. That's why, this year, I selected works that are not only beautiful, but that reflect on the world that we live in. 
Whether it is the black cowgirl, in Otis Kwamek White Crow's rancher, the pandemic-induced chaos and anxiety in Rashid Johnson's untitled Anxious Red, or the heartbreaking children in Jenny Savile's Exodus. Each of these works have a point to make. This is why I'm also particularly thrilled to feature a set of earrings by the iconic Taiwanese jeweler, Cindy Chow. And an original racing suit from Sir Lewis Hamilton a relentless campaigner against social injustice. <laughs> Additionally, each one of the works tonight For example, the story of 10 years old Jack. Whose wish is paired with the exquisite work by Cause over there. His wish wasn't simply about him having a prom for his 10th birthday. It was so much more than that. After 10 years, Gemma, Jack's mom, got her first ever dance with her son. And she said, I don't think I've ever seen Jack smile like that. The wish is a memory that I will cherish forever. It will never die. That is, my friends, the impact of a wish. It's not just about a moment in time. It creates lifelong memories. I invite you to look through the brochure and not only think about what each wonderful piece means to you, but what also your donation will mean to every single wish child and their family. 63,000 children are living with a critical condition in the UK. 63,000. We want, we need to bring light to every single one of them. And currently, we just don't have the resources. I would now like to hand over to Simon, one of the most incredible Make-A-Wish volunteers I've had been fortunate enough to meet, and who kindly agreed to share his story with us. I'm honored and humbled to invite Simon to the stage 